now I want to do a little tutorial on image stabilization inside of After Effects 5. Now I'm going to take this not particularly pretty shot. Basically it's a shot running down to the office and you can see I get walking. So it's reasonably handheld to start off with and then it gets very wobbly. And I'm going to try and stabilize it. I've chopped a little bit out. I'm just going to select it, right click and say replace with After Effects composition. Just so I can get from Premiere into After Effects where the image stabilizing is going to be. And I'm going to give it a name called Stabilize. So here we are inside of After Effects. You've got the timeline down here with the clip and the preview window up here. What I want to do is stabilize a motion. So I can right click and choose Stabilize or if I've got the tracker window open you just go to that and click Stabilize. And what that does is it puts the clip into another window, the layer window. You notice it's gone from being a nice widescreen shot down to a square shot. That's purely because it's now showing me everything as square pixels. It doesn't really affect anything. I can always sort that out by going up to the little breakout here and say pixel aspect ratio correction if it's really annoying you. What I want to do with this shot is to get the computer to follow a particular point and then use that to stabilize it. So what am I going to use? I've got this little box sitting here in the middle saying track point one. This is the little box that's going to do the tracking. What's it going to track? Well, let's stick it on the car at the end. I'm going to try and grab hold of it, but actually it's quite hard to grab hold of it. If you're not careful, you'll grab hold of the wrong thing. So I'm going to zoom in first. Use the mouse wheel just to zoom in a bit. Maybe then use the hand tool by pressing down on the space bar and moving so you can move it around. And then grab hold of that and put it over something to track. Let's try and track the number plate on my car. The outside area is what is it going to track? I can make it really big or really small. Keep it as small as you can. How small should it be? Well, try leaving it as it started. Maybe that'll work. If it doesn't, you might need to make it bigger and retrack stuff. But just leave it as it started. Really just drag it over something, something that sort of stands out like the white sign there, and then try analyzing it. Now for a start, I really need to be at the start of the clip. Accidentally did this when I was in the middle, so let's go back to the start and adjust the tracking point. So it's over the start. Always start at the start. And press this button to start tracking. As you can see now, my little box is following the number plate on the car quite happily. And then it goes completely doodlally at the end. I zoom out a bit, you can see the path that After Effects has created for me goes all over the place at the end. How's it going to stabilize it? Well, it's tracked it, let's click apply. Do you want to do the X and the Y, or just the X or just the Y? Let's do the X and Y, that's the left and right and up and down. Click on OK. And now let's play it. And yes, it is a reasonable amount steadier. The car is staying in the center there, but you can obviously see what's happening apart from that because my camera is wobbling all over the place. To compensate, After Effects has wobbled the picture in the other direction which means, as you can see, that you get great big black bars coming around the edge. Well, that's no good. I've got to sort that out somehow, haven't I? I mean, if you're very, very lucky, maybe they're outside the safe areas. Maybe if they're outside the safe areas, people won't see them. But, you know, you've got to do something about that, frankly. So how do you sort that out? How do you zoom into it? Because what I've got to do is zoom in so you don't see the black bars. How do you do that? Well, the best way to do that is not to fiddle with this clip, but to add in a camera. So I'm going to choose the timeline, go up to Layer, New, Camera. And here, I'm going to choose a one-node camera, and that's it. It might be set to two. Choose a one-node camera, click OK. It pops up with this warning message, which says it's got to be a 3D layer, otherwise the camera does nothing. This is actually very important, because, you know, I might do that, start fiddling with the camera and nothing happens to my shot in the middle. That's because the shot in the middle is on a 2D layer and as After Effects was saying, it needs to be a 3D layer. So come down here to the timeline, underneath the box, click that. That changes that into a 3D layer. Then, open up the camera and you can see on the camera here I've got loads of different things but what I really want to fiddle with is the position. Don't want to rotate it or anything else, just the position. 
So, at the start, I'm okay. Let's move through a bit and see how much black I get in. Of course, it goes completely crazy towards the end because of all of that wild camera movement at the end. So, I've got to zoom in quite a bit. How do I zoom in? Well, you use these three things. That is left and right. That is up and down. That's backwards and forwards. So, this is effectively zooming in. Now, it's not really zooming in. What it is, it's moving it around in 3D space. It's affecting the Z position, but it's like zooming in. And I'm going to move that around and then move the others so I don't get a black box and then see how that reacts all the way through the shot. Well, it's okay at the end there, but uh, there's bits at the start where I'm still chopping the top off. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to zoom in a bit more. And the more you zoom in, the more the picture quality is going to deteriorate. That's just a side effect of motion tracking. And I'm not keyframing this at all. I'm literally zooming in all the way through the shot and letting the motion tracking handle the rest. And there we are. I am now motion tracked. Now you might say it's not perfectly steady, David. Yeah, it depends on the shot. There's a very good reason why this one isn't perfectly steady, which I'll tell you about in a second. Let's save it. Pop back into Premiere. And why don't I just stick it next to itself? And now you can see the two shots. This is the stabilized shot. This is the not stabilized shot. Now, why isn't this perfectly static? Well, because I've applied some image stabilization to it. And I've done stabilize it left and right and up and down. I haven't done rotation. And it twirls a bit. So why don't we apply some stabilization with a bit of rotation? I'm going to do it again. Choose the clip. Replace with After Effects Composition. Put another one in here. And now what I want to do is stabilize the motion. But I want to do position and rotation. And you can see position and rotation, they end up with two points. Point one, let's put that over the car. And point two, maybe put it over that grass. Or let's put the side of the bin, how about that? Maybe that'll help. So set up two points so it can track two different things. Make sure it's at the start. Click Analyze, and off it analyzes. See what that does. Oh, it's lost it at the end. No doubt about it, right at the end there, it's just far too busy. But it'll do a pretty good job up to there. Click on Apply. Choose X and Y. And now you can see, especially towards the end, it's actually rotating the picture so that everything in the center is staying level. Now to sort that out again, I'm going to have to do the same thing. Add in the camera and then fiddle around with the camera so that you can actually zoom in and see everything. Whoop, not affecting it. Why isn't it affecting it? Forgot to make it a 3D layer. Click the little 3D layer button. Yeah, there we are. It's done a much better job of stabilizing. 